Well, <laughs> what I'm trying to get at is that um, you could have just had a yeah, Asia yeah, Tech yeah. podcast as a weekly podcast right, right. that you interviewed entrepreneurs. I mean, similar to what I do, uh, you know, as, on a weekly basis, just interview, edit, upload it, and just keep repeating that. But you've taken on a sort of a leadership role in the podcasting industry, yeah. whereby you're getting other podcasters, you're pulling other podcasters in to say, what are you doing? Why are you doing it? Mm. Um, how can we take this forward in Asia? So why have you, this is what I'm trying to get, why are you doing that? I like a challenge. Yeah. But it reminds me of back in the day when I was um, selling youth mobile research, like everybody disbelieved me. And I like that. I like proving motherfuckers wrong. I think it's, I think, you know, a lot of people, and I guess there's, there's a serious point is that, um, and I'm sure you could unpack the psychology in, on a, a deeper episode, put me on the couch. But I think that like m what motivates entrepreneurs, a lot of people talk about the opportunity changing the world and making the world a better place. And I wonder, there's a whole lot out of there who've just got to prove people wrong, rightly or wrongly that, you know, it's like, I think great things come out of positions of pain, like whatever happens in your life or what, you know, whatever those kind of layers of personality that were formed when you were a kid. Right. Um, and you think about, you know, anybody who's done anything amazing in art or music, for example, they've had a pretty fucked up childhood. Right, they just create. They they have so much to bring. They have so you know the most beautiful voices come from those positions of pain. I'm not saying I'm like that, but I'm saying that sometimes that can be an amazing motivator. That you just feel that this has to be done because those voices are there. You remember those people saying those things to you, right? And that's what you want to prove wrong. You don't want to. I, I'm being honest. I'm not interested in changing the world. If I make the world a better place, that's a bonus, right? But, you know, when you grow up and, you know, you're told a certain thing about yourself or people tell you that you have to be like this or that never goes away. That I, I don't know, you know, as a teenager, that's there forever. It's embedded in your soul, right? So it's just like this is this, but turned into something very positive. Because I think that could eat you up as a kid, right? That, those kind of angers that you have when you're a teenager. 